Wow. Today's video is about an analog watch. But after today's video, this dude is going to be like, analog watch hai, sahi hai, lekin safed watch hai na? Safed watch pehene walon ko log serious ni nahi lete. <laughs> when we talk about Casio's very simple and minimal digital watches, we immediately think of the F91. Very basic, unassuming, a watch with history and a few colorways to boast. When I unboxed the Casio MW240, I titled that video by referring to it as the F91 of analog watches. But I was wrong. Clearly, there was another watch that was the analog equivalent of F91 and that is what I'm about to showcase today. Let's now get to the unboxing. Namaste everybody. I wanted to buy the basic black variant Casio MQ24 with white dial and black Arabic numeral indices but we don't get that in India currently. That's the original that was first released in the same year as the F91 in 1989. In this day and age, people really love funky designs and funky colors for their watches and this beige MQ24 is not easy to get. I got really lucky because this was the only piece available at the time of purchase. This watch belongs to what Casio calls the Pop series and it has three other solid colors so you can buy the one you fancy. Right off the bat, this beige MQ24 is a very contrasty, simple three-hand analog watch and it stands out on your wrist especially if you have darker skin tone. It's a very basic yet practical watch and can now accompany its digital beige cousin. This Casio MQ24 MQ24 watch from the Pop series retails at Rs 1995 in India and in the US they go for about $28. I highly recommend buying this watch during a sale because it's the same old affordable watch with a flashy exterior. Okay now don't get jealous but this is how much I picked this watch up for on Flipkart. What an awesome deal. The MQ24 is resin all the way. It's beige in color and has a matte finishing. The case has a luck to luck of 38.8 millimeters, case diameter of 34.9 millimeters, lug width of 16 millimeters, and case thickness of 7.8 millimeters. The crown sits on a little ridge at the three o'clock position. It sort of hides in there and you need to dig it out with your fingernail if you want to set time. The crystal is resin or acrylic and it slightly sticks past the level of the bezel so this is definitely prone to scratches but seeing as it's acrylic you can easily buff out the surface scratches. The dial isn't exactly pitch black but more of a slate black or Pennsylvania black or Pennsylvania grey with large Arabic numerals as our markers and they are beige too in keeping with the theme of this watch. The dotted minute markers at the periphery round up the aesthetics of the dial really well. The hands are beige too. The thin hour and minute hands really stand out against the black of the dial making reading the time very easy in most light situations and when seen from tricky angles. The second hand is what my first grey hair might look like. Look how fine and delicate that is casually ticking away against a field of black. I like the branding on this one. With the Casio quads at the 12 o'clock position and the WR logo along with the text at the 6 o'clock position. Personally, I would have preferred just the WR logo to keep it simple. The case back is standard stainless steel which is snapped into place and you will need a sharp flat tool to pry it open in the event of battery change. Because the case back is snap on kind, you will only get 30 meter water resistance which at best is splash resist. It can handle a slight drizzle and some splashes when you do your dishes. The strap is standard resin but surprisingly this is softer than the one on the MW240 and other Casio watches. The strap has the same color as that of the case. The stopper has the embossed Casio branding. Look at the size of that font. 
It really stands out and much better than the plain stoppers of other Casio watches. The strap is square all the way through with no taper. This MQ24 strap is actually thinner compared to the strap of the beige colored F91. I really wish Casio started considering stainless steel buckle for these affordable Casio watches. But for now, I'm okay with this plastic one. Let's now try on this baby. I have a wrist measuring 6.8 inch and the simple beige watch really pops on my brown skin. The case size is such that the lug ends sit well within the edges of my wrist which is always a pleasant change from all the G-Shock time my wrist gets. But personally, this isn't a color I would wear on a regular basis. And remember, this beige color will go from light to dark shade with regular use especially when it is constantly exposed to dust, sweat and UV rays. In conclusion, this beige Casio MQ24 is a very practical watch because of the contrast in the dial elements. The beige hour markers and hands stand out against the black. If you like bright colored watches, then this can be a great purchase and you could pair it with your outfits any way you like. The color of this watch makes it stand out and if you are in a dimly lit room with other people and you suddenly start waving your arm about, people might start to wonder what is that thing flying around, that white colored thing. Oh, it's just your beige colored MQ24. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today in unboxing this very simple, very practical and funky colored Casio MQ24. Please give this video a thumbs up, it would mean a lot. Please subscribe and become part of a really cool watch lovers community. It would be a pleasure to have you. And if you know of any other affordable Casio watches that I should look into, please let me know down in the comments. For more such watch related content, stay tuned and stay classy.